Third Lucy, Donegal's double all star. You played in two previous All Ireland quarter finals, lost them. You won this one. What's it like to be looking forward to a semi final? Yeah, it's great to be there, like, you know, um, just the buzz in the county the last two weeks, you know, it's been something else. And you know, we just don't want to finish it here, like, we want to take it one step further and get it to the All Ireland final. <laughs> the buzz since the Ulster final, in many ways, has been overtaken by the buzz of beating Kildare. It's strange to think that winning an Ulster title could be eclipsed. By winning an All Ireland quarter final, but it, it seems to have. Ah, uh, yeah, but you know, that's, that's football, like, you know, um, we get to an All Ireland final, like, you know, the Bulls in the county, like, something special, like, and, um, you know, we just, as I say, just we want to take it further, like, you know, as you said, also titles, it's in the back of our heads now, you know, and we're not thinking about that now, Dublin's on our heads, and that's what we're training for, and you know, we've been training hard last week, and we've another week this week and next week, and, you know, we'll be going in all guns blazing to come, come down to 28th. It was said of Donegal, it was even before the Ulster final, that if Donegal yes. win the Ulster Championship, that's their year, they'll be happy yeah. enough with that, but that certainly isn't the case. No, that's not the case, not at all. I suppose uh, Ulster's kind of forgotten about now, you know, we're in the last four and people are thinking Sam Maguire, Sam Maguire this, and, but, you know, that's not what it's about now, you know, Dublin's standing our way, you know, they want that cup, you know, they've been, you know, gutted there down the last few years, you know, they've lost a few big semi-finals and such, so, you know, they're definitely not going to want to lose this one. So, you know, as I say, you know, they stand in their way and I suppose we stand in their way, so it's going to be a real battle, you know. Be Jim's philosophy, even with last year's over 21, one game at a time. Yeah, that's the main one, one game, one game at a time. There's no point in thinking ahead, like, just keep the head down and plan towards the game and then whoever you play in the next round, just plan towards them now and that's just the way it went, like, it was not no talking about Ulster finals or all Ireland finals or all Ireland semi-finals, just one game at a time, like. Yeah, and it's been a great year for yourself personally after coming back after the night for so long. Ah, oh, yeah, it's happy, especially this year, like, Jim, Jim told me at the start of the year, just put the head down and give it everything, like, and after I had a couple of bad years there with injury and just to get into the team, just happy enough, like, and hmm. delighted with it, the way it's going and still, hopefully, still more to come, like. And obviously had to put in a lot of hard work. Yeah, there was a lot of hard work there during around Christmas time on my own, like, and running that, but that was well worth it now when you're playing in August and that, and Crow Park and all, it's nice to be. Ian McLean, I suppose, coming back from your second big injury of the year, not a bad time to be coming back now a few weeks away from an Ireland semi-final. Ah, it's great, all right, to be coming back, you know, and uh, into the fray for the semi-final, you know, it's great to, you know, it's, it's easy to push yourself on when you're coming into, you know, when you're training for such a big event, like, and, it's great, you know, to be coming back in, all right. Yeah. And the year overall has been, a, suffice to say, a very, very frustrating year for you. Very frustrating now, like, you know, I was getting over the ankle injury and I was scoring, you know, I was starting to get in, into the swing of things again, you know, and then now, Jake, you know, it was very frustrating the second injury now, all right, but, you know, this is the thing, you know, I got through long enough without injuries, you know, and it's just the way it goes, you know, you never know when you're playing football. Yeah. You came back from the first injury relatively quickly. Did it take a lot of mental strength on your part to come back from the second one now so quickly? Uh, I suppose it did, all right, now, you know, but as you say yourself, you know, when the Donegal team were doing so well, you know, it was that added incentive to get back, you know, and get yourself fit, and, you know, it's hard to watch games from the sideline, you know, and so it was an added incentive, you know, so it wasn't as hard. For some of them, it's going to take the off season to get them up to the, where I suppose where they were originally, you know. But at the same time, they're very young, mm -hmm. and they might, that's not to say that they want to be part. But it's just for seventy minutes would be a big ask for some of them at the minute, you know. Because um, when you're out for three or four weeks, even the likes of Kevin Rafferty and Rory Cavanaugh, they're only starting now to come back to the level yeah. that they were at before the Ulster final. Because you know the pay, the boys have continued on in the journey, and the pace is still you know very very high at training and. Um, and so that you know, you're going to be, you're going to be. The questions are going to be asked of you in that situation, you know. So um, you'll be found out if you're not 100 percent, and that's what we're trying to do: is just build a squad that people can fit in and fit out and be at that level, you know. And people understand that. I think when they're not in the 26 or the, the 15. The dogs, I suppose, will present one of the toughest challenges of the year. I suppose particularly for you guys that are in the cold face and the full back lines. We're going to have to get. We have to take it up another level. We haven't been that all year. We're we'll working, training, we get to that level. Hopefully, it'll pay off and we we'll get up to that level. Because not not what we played this year, we do against the Dubs. As it was on the other side of the coin, it's fair to say you were going in with a fair degree of confidence. My confidence, you know, we've worked on some good shit. You know, it's going to be it's going to come down to the battles in the day, head to head battles, so we're looking forward to it. Towards the game on TV, I mean, the general consensus afterwards among a lot of people was that Tyrone afforded them too much room and didn't, I mean, 
revert back to type of what they can do best. I mean, to watch the game live. I mean, is that what you saw? Or did you saw, see something very different? No, I, I, what I seen was I seen Dublin moving the ball very quick with the foot and removing it from the full back line to the middle of the park, in the middle of the park to the full forward line. And he sometimes Tyrone were trying to get back and they couldn't get back because the ball was moving so quick. And uh, you know, I think there was a stat on, on one of the televisions that had the. I think maybe 75% of the time they're kicking the ball and 25% of the time yeah. they're fisting the ball. So uh, it's very hard to defend against that and the pace uh, at which they're moving the ball, you know, and um, it's going to be difficult for us to contain that as well, you know, because obviously they've done it throughout the league and that's why they've scored so many goals because the pace they're moving the ball at will dictate that the inside forwards get a, a genuine supply of the ball and then you've got, you've got genuine forwards with pace and they can win their own ball and you've got maybe four players in the forward line they can win their own ball so if you're moving it that quick and they can win their own ball and they can turn quick and they've got two feet yeah. they're going to be dangerous and you can see why they've scored so many goals in, in a, you know maybe seven games or something so there's a big challenge there for us definitely and uh, you know we'd be happy I would feel personally that Kildare were stronger than us and more powerful than us but we were probably at the heel of the hunt yeah. slightly better aerobically and we kept going for longer, but they were probably bigger and, and more powerful. So we have a Dublin, I would consider in the same bracket as Kildare. From that point of view, they're big, they're strong, and they're powerful. Um, it's only when you get to play them will you find out, I suppose, aerob aerobically how good they are, you know. But I suppose based on what our lads in DCU would be saying, and you know, watching them live and stuff, you'd have to say that um, they're probably the number one team conditioning wise in the country at the minute. There's, I suppose, urban legend at this stage in Donegal of brutal training sessions in Castle Finn over the winter months and they're certainly standing to you now. Yeah, but you know, that's, uh, every county's at it now, like, you know, the work has to be done and maybe that's what has happened over the years, you know, if they didn't have the work done and you know, yet, when you're winning the games, you know, you, you know in the back of your head that you, know, you have it in your legs or you have the physical strength, you know, to beat your opponent and Everybody's performance is up, you know, tenfold this year. But I mean, has that masked a wee bit for how good you were yourself last year? Because I mean, you had a pretty good season last year too. Which was, was it straight from that court defeat the year before that you said you're going to draw a line under this? I pretty much, and I would have been happy enough in the performance last year, but. We were, we were very poor last year in fairness. And I kept the training going myself, even though we out, and kept going and going. But the, all the boys were caught up, all, and the one fit to serve on out. Whereas maybe the start of the year, you'd have been ahead of boys waving the runs. And, but I'm, I'm behind now, <laughs> running after boys. So. And where do you see the big challenge coming from, Dublin? Uh, I suppose everywhere, you know, up front, probably their main threat, you know, with the Brogans and, you know, uh, Connolly there, they're playing really well, you know, they're fast and they're quick and I suppose, you know, all over the field, their mental ability, their focus, you know, they're, you know, they're just really strong at the minute, you know, they're really fit. So we just have to match them on the day, you know, and hopefully, you know, we can, you know, get our, get our own performance and that's the main one. I think it's fair to say that the Dubs will present quite possibly the stuff that's challenged that you faced all year. Oh, without a doubt, like, uh, their performance against Strong was as close to perfection as you're going to get in, in Gaelic football like and you know their defence is outstanding they're, they're in the field so mobile like you know they're up and down the pitch and you know their forwards you know they're in the Brogan, not even playing you know, with his full capacity yet like you know and there's other boys step up to the mark like, and you know guys come Sunday week like you know Brogan's going to be full tilt and he's going to be fully watched and it's the same as all the full forwards there's a lot of talk about the Dublin A versus B games you know and that 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 is, it's brilliant to have that competitiveness, but at the end of the day, you still have 30 players with maybe 20 of them, very little in it. And, uh, you know, there may be eight or 10 players that could make that team on any given day out of the out of the players maybe that are not even in the squad. So, you know, you have to deal with that and manage that as well. And I think he's done a really good job in regards to that. I think he's done a really good job anyway because he had huge decisions to make in the last 18 months, two years, and he made them and they've changed and they've worked hard and, you know, they're, they're a real, they're a real force at the minute, you know, and um, it's, it's a big challenge for us, but again, you know, we're looking forward to it. Yeah.